Hi friends, I'm Uma Shankar Pandey and this is the Dr. USP channel. The third person effect was suggested by W. Phillips Davison in 1983 in the Public Opinion Quarterly. He suggested people consider media to be having a greater influence or impact on others then they see it on themselves. For example, they might imagine that advertisements, news and other propaganda has greater impact or influence on others. And this often leads them to call for actions such as media censorship. Let us see media influence the third person effect in this video. The cause of the third person effect lies in the perception gap. A person might acknowledge the persuasive intent of a media message but will often assume that other people are more susceptible. The third person effect describes how people often think that everyone else is more affected by media messages than they are. In simple terms, a person believes that media impacts others much more than it impacts themselves. This perception often leads to various social behaviors including support for media censorship or different modes of persuasive communication. The third person effect assumes that people see the influence of media on themselves and on others as different things. It suggests that individuals can distinguish between how media affects them personally and how it affects others. Researchers believe this difference in perception is a kind of distortion, where most people recognize this inconsistency in logic but still accept it. To measure the third person effect, researchers typically ask people two types of questions. One about how much they think the media influences them and another about its influence on others. If people report that the media affects others more than it affects themselves, this confirms the third person effect. Davison in 1983 first described this tendency for people who are exposed to a persuasive message to believe that others are more influenced by it. In the third person effect, it doesn't really matter how accurately one understands the media's impact on others. What's important is how one reacts to the expected influence of the media on others, not the actual media content itself. For instance, in politics, it isn't essential to know for sure that negative ads affect voters. Instead, it's a candidate's belief that these ads might influence people that often prompts them to respond with their own advertisement. Early research on the third person effect showed that the phenomenon that people often think others are more influenced by media than they are themselves has been observed in different situations such as how TV ads affect children and how campaign themes and advertising influence voters during campaigns. Studies have confirmed this belief across various media contents including political news, TV violence, commercials and rap music. The theory behind the third person effect looks at why people make social comparisons. According to attribution theory, people try to make sense of events and behaviors by observing them. There's a common discrepancy in how we attribute actions to our ourselves versus others. People tend to explain their own actions as influenced by the situation, but for others they attribute those actions to personal traits. The difference in judgment is known as an attributional error. It explains why individuals think they are less affected by media messages than others. The third person effect is based on the desire to maintain a positive self-image, a concept known as self-serving bias. People often compare themselves to those they consider worse off to boost their own self-esteem. They may also hold unrealistically positive views of themselves, believing they are less likely to face negative outcomes and more likely to have positive ones compared to others. This optimistic bias explains why individuals think they are less affected by persuasive media messages, assuming they are smarter than the average person. This belief typically arises only in situations where Believing less influenced by media boosts one ego. 
Richard Perloff in 1993 points out that our pre-existing beliefs about the media also drive the third person effect. People often think of the media as a powerful force that can easily influence passive unaware audiences, a view shaped by the outdated hypodermic needle model. Because of this, individuals naturally assume that others are more likely to be swayed by media messages than they are themselves. Research indicates that several factors can increase or decrease the third person effect. Studies have shown that if a message is undesirable, people are more likely to believe that it has a stronger effect on others than on themselves. For example, individuals often think that others are more influenced by harmful media content such as ads for diet pills or messages that include violence, sexism and racism. The third person effect is more pronounced for anti-social messages or those against social norms because people want to see themselves positively. That means smart enough to resist negative messages and view others as more easily misled. Essentially denying the impact of such media on oneself, especially when the messages are seen as personally harmful, serves to enhance one's self-image. On the other hand, when messages are socially desirable or personally beneficial, people are less likely to show the third person effect. Instead, they might admit that these messages have a stronger impact on themselves than on others. This is known as the first person effect or reversed third person effect. Because the influence of positive pro-social messages boosts one's self-image and is seen as beneficial. Another factor that influences how strong the third person effect is the source of the message. If people think the messenger has a negative bias or there's an intent to persuade behind the message, they are more likely to believe that others are more affected by the message than they are themselves. In addition, the strength of the third person effect also depends on how socially distant people feel from those they are comparing themselves to. According to the social distance theory, the third person effect becomes stronger as people see themselves as more different from others. That is when others seem more distant psychologically. This happens because people often compare themselves to those they consider less like themselves, viewing these distant others as an outgroup. If the people being considered have traits that make them seem weak, the third person effect becomes even larger. When individuals find a message highly relevant or important to their own identity, they are more likely to think that the media affects others more than it affects them. This effect is stronger in people who are deeply invested in an issue and tend to see media sources as biased if their views are strong and extreme. It also contributes to the hostile media phenomenon where even neutral messages are seen as biased against their own viewpoint. People who are more knowledgeable might believe they are less affected by mass media because they think they have the intelligence and expertise to resist its effect. Unlike others who may not have these skills, similarly older people might feel that mass media has little effect on them because they trust their life experiences and establish social attitudes to help them counter any influence. Participants in studies are often asked to evaluate the impact of certain messages on themselves and others without being directly exposed to the media. One problem with this method is that the third person effect might occur because of the order in which the questions are asked. If participants first consider how media influences others and then reflect on themselves, this order might lead to a primacy effect, where the initial questions influence their subsequent answers. Scholars have debated whether the third person effect is due to people misjudging how media influences others or themselves. Some suggest that overestimating the media's effect on others comes from believing that audiences are easily fooled. On the other hand, underestimating how much media influences oneself 
might be because people don't fully understand their own psychological workings or because they want to feel invulnerable to boost their self-esteem. As the media landscape evolves with the rise of digital and social media platforms, it is crucial to examine how the third-person effect manifests in these new contexts. Research could focus on the effects of algorithms, echo chambers and social media influencers on the third-person effect perception. Understanding how and when perceptions of media influence lead to concrete actions such as censorship, advocacy or changes in voting behavior can inform both policy and practical intervention. Thanks for staying along friends. As always, it was a delight having you here. I'll be back with another video very soon. Till then, have a great time.